hello and welcome back hey how are you how's it going for today's video if you couldn't already tell by the title it is going to be a get ready with me i decided to do a fall edition because we are in september and around this time is when i consider it fall season and spooky season and all that fun stuff so i will be doing makeup i will be doing a cute outfit i will be doing all that gist okay but before we even start with this video one question that i have for you guys what outfit choice do you guys think i'm going to go with am i gonna do a t-shirt and jeans kind of thing am i gonna do a cutesy little dress am i gonna do some sweats and just a tank top like what what do you guys think i'm going to choose as my outfit for this video I don't want you guys to skip ahead to the end. I want you guys to comment down below right now. Go ahead. I'm a wait. I don't want you guys to cheat. So comment that down below and um, we'll see who's right. So this here is going to be the before. I decided to attempt a messy bun kind of thing. Isn't really that well or maybe it is because of how weird it looks i don't know i don't really grab my hair much for that reason because i don't know what i'm doing so this is the before no makeup on i have my so obviously that t-shirt on like this is not even the outfit that i'm going for so gonna be completely transformed by the end of this video so without further ado let's get into today's video Okay, so starting off with the makeup. Sorry if you can hear my fan. I tried to put it on like the lowest that you can possibly hear it. So if you still hear it, sorry. But starting off on the makeup, gonna jump into my primer and my foundation, which are both from Il Maquillage. I did a review on these, if you guys wanted to go ahead and check that out. And uh, long story short, I freaking love these things. Both of them, well, both of them together are literally, oh my goodness, I love them. So, I'm going to take some of that primer and just jot that all over my face. Mainly focusing on this area here because this is basically where I get the most oily, I guess you could say. And then I'm just going to put the excess all over the face. Now for the foundaciones, just gonna line that all over. I am going to take my foundation brush and just start going for it. It looks like I put way too much on. That is ridiculous. I wasn't supposed to put that much on, but whatever. We'll go for it. <laughs> Literally look like I put a mask on. <laughs> that is so much. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. Why did I put so much? It's okay, we'll fisk it. Fix it with my beauty blender. I look so much more pale on the camera than I actually do, but it also still looks like I put a ton of foundation on. I don't know why I did that. Jumping into my Suavecita S206 brush and the brow pomade in dark brown. I'm gonna go ahead and fix up these bad boys. And brush these guys upwards. I'm gonna go ahead and take my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in shade Cashmere and just go ahead and cover up all of these nasties. <laughs> kind of make my face look a little clearer. I 
I have noticed that every single time it comes to doing my makeup, either like during the process or when it's done, my nose tends to get like very runny. Is that normal or am I just weird? Because I don't know, it just, it's so weird. And usually it happens after I'm done with my makeup. That's when it like gets all like weird. I asked my sister and she said it happens to her too. So I'm guessing it's normal, but like, is it because we like bump our nose too much with the beauty blender? Is that what makes it so runny? I don't know, but my nose is a little runny right now and I'm trying to get it to stop. <laughs> Alrighty, now that the face is kind of started off, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eye makeup. Alrighty, so I did one eye off camera just because I wanted to make sure that this look was gonna come out the way that I planned it to. So basically, I'm gonna start off with my ColourPop Sweet Talk palette and I will be taking the shade Work It and I'm just gonna start blending that all over the top portion of my eye and with that, I will be using my blending brush. So I'm just gonna stamp it on top and just slowly start blending it inwards. So then I'm just gonna keep doing that same motion until I get it to where I want it to be. I know it does look a little messy right now, but I am going to fix that later. Okay, so now that I have the exact amount that I wanted for that shade, I'm gonna jump back into my Sweet Talk palette and I'm gonna take this shade down here called Melody. As you can see, it's kind of like a shimmery shade, kind of like a combination of orange, yellow, and a little bit of pink. So taking some on my finger, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant that all over the lid. Kind of bring it upwards just to fill in most of the eye. I'm gonna take a little more and just keep on packing that on top. Oh yes, looks beautiful. Look at that guys, how freaking cute. Next I'm gonna jump into my Disney designer palette and I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here called Triton, you know, Ariel's dad. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend that a little outer and on top of the eye. For that, I'm gonna use the same shading brush that I used for the first one. As you can see, I'm kind of just blending that towards the middle of the eye, but not all the way. Just to kind of add a little bit of darkness. So now jumping into my Max Selena palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take the darkest brown shade, this guy right here, and I'm just gonna put that on the bottom lash line. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the smaller blending brush. Sorry, I have like eyeshadow all over the palm of my hand. get over how weird it feels to blend near my eyeball like it's so strange to me now I'm gonna go ahead and take my mega liner liquid liner from wet and wild and just do a little line on top here Then I'm gonna take my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and just get these lashes going. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face using the e.l.f. contour palette. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and take these two bottom shades right here. Now, 
for highlight, I think I want to keep it more on the warm tone. So I'm going to go ahead and take my highlighter from Maxalina. This one is called La Leyenda and it's more of like a champagne highlighter. Pretty soft, subtle, which we love. So just going to add a tad bit of that. Oh yeah, she cute. You can't tell me she ain't cute. Cause she is. Of course, gotta get that nose going. Get the temples. I look like I was about to eat the brush. <laughs> okay, makeup's done. This is kind of the end result. Now for outfit change. Three, two, one. Ooh, look at that. What a transformation. So. I guess we can say this is an actual transformation. Got the hair up, got full face of makeup on, we have an outfit, put on these Dreamcatcher earrings from Lovisa, completed the makeup with my liquid lipstick from the Maxalina collection. This one is Big Bertha. So for the outfit, I decided to go ahead and throw on just a plain white spaghetti strap, put on my black Levi's, kind of fold them up a little bit, and then top it with this cardigan that I got from Target. So I think this is a big old transformation than what I was wearing before. So I am actually really, really freaking obsessed with how everything turned out. I feel like everything ties together, the whole makeup look and the outfit itself definitely speaks fall vibes to me. I want to say this video is a success and I don't know if I showed you guys already, but off camera I decided to add a little finishing touch in the inner portion of my eyes, so I went ahead and added this gold shade from my Midnight Masquerade palette. The shade itself is called Mrs. Potts and I think it did wonderful completing the whole look. It gives it that nice touch. So that is basically it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below your thoughts about this whole look, makeup, hair, outfit, everything. What did you guys think? Do you guys think this was a success? Are we definitely feeling the fall vibes? Or do you guys think I could have done better? Whatever it is, comment that below. I'm very curious to know. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Wow, I am obsessed!